Yeah. Your brother on too. Okay. Stop it. Have you thought about it? I don't have to think about it. Long before they figure out you don't have a brother. Schizopolis. To sum the movie up in one sentence, because there re there is no plot. Pretty much, you've got one character, Munson, who has to write a speech for a very charismatic leader of not a religion, but some type of social movement that is everyone's treating like a religion. Munson ends up taking on, well, he becomes this guru prophet type person because they're actually doppelgangers. But he's also just a very dull dentist. So he becomes from just another employee to this famous boring dentist. Everything else kind of hangs off of that. I watched it twice. Second time I watched it, I watched it in two sittings. I mean, I laughed at every scene. Yeah. There was not a scene that I wasn't guffawing. It's tough to recommend, but I think that if within the first three minutes, whenever the director gets up on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, young and old, this may seem an unusual procedure speaking to you before the picture begins, but we have an unusual subject. Turn. When I say that this is the most important motion picture you will ever attend, my motivation is not financial gain, but a firm belief that the delicate fabric that holds all of us together will be ripped apart unless every man, woman, and child in this country sees this film and pays full ticket price, not some bargain matinee cut rate deal. Turn. If, if you find that amusing and funny, then I would say keep watching. If it opens and you feel a little bit annoyed because you think, you know, the people making this movie are probably feeling like they've got the leg up on you and they're kind of just dicking around. Which, which, which is funny because like you mentioned it's funny. in the yeah. beginning. Like everything feels very random, but especially the more that you see it, the more you do realize that it's very well the way that they tie in each random thing that happens with the other. Yeah, like Elmo. Elmo keeps coming up, going away, coming up. Steven Soderbergh, he is one of the more well-known directors. He did the the Oceans movie we were talking earlier about, The Informant. Like Contagion. He's, yeah, Contagion. It is interesting because up until this point, he like became famous early on, and then his movies started to become kind of stale, very like formulaic blockbuster movies. You can very much see that he decided to give all of that up, do this small little thing in his hometown. It really brought a different side to him. I really like to see that. Soderbergh making that movie, and him acting like he did in that, he's obviously a little screwed up in the head. Whenever he's looking into the dentist's house, his other persona, and he's peering in, and he just closes his eyes, takes a deep breath. The shot moves to his other persona, and you're not sure, right? Did he just turn into him? And then that guy disappears, and then it goes to the girl fishing, and then she swings out the two, because we had seen the one earlier, and then we know, oh, this is the second part. Okay, he is definitely the dentist. In the end, you're, you're trying to fit it together. While it does have some congruity to it, it's just so strange all the way through. It's just weird. If you are a fan of his work, definitely seek this one out, because it is kind of like the beginning of him becoming the filmmaker that everybody loves nowadays.